Thanks to HLF funding that the museum received in 2002, visitors that come here today can see the only surviving piece of Manchester's little-known Victorian hydraulic power network. It sounds really futuristic using water power, but actually Manchester had a hydraulic power network as early as 1894. So um, it was used for things like powering machines in factories and workshops. Uh, it was used for lifting people up in lifts so they didn't have to use the stairs. Um, but it also had some more surprising uses. So it was used to wind up the clock at the town hall. It was used to uh, pump the organ at the cathedral. And it was also used to lift the safety curtain at the opera house. For a hydraulic power network you need a supply of water, but unfortunately the water in the uh, river and the canals in Manchester um, at that time were so filthy and polluted they couldn't go into the system. So each one of the three uh, hydraulic pumping stations had uh, a borehole so it could access clean water from underground. Um, the water was pumped up and kept in tanks on the roof and anecdotally um, the people who worked in the power stations would keep those tanks stocked with fish and they'd even use them as a swimming pool in the summer on hot days. This pumping engine that you can see behind me in the power hall is, um, it was made by J.W. Galloway and Sons in 1909 and it was used at the Water Street pumping station, it's one of three. Um, Water Street pumping station closed in 1972 on Christmas Day and after that it was um, preserved for a while um, at Salford University. But its future wasn't secure and the museum wanted to find it a permanent home to preserve this, this last remaining piece of the network. Um, in 2002 we received a HLF grant um, to allow us to dismantle it, um, carefully do some restoration work and then re-erect it here in the power hall at the Museum of Science and Industry where it's actually still demonstrated using an electric power source um, by our explainers.